Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Welcome to the Saturday Night Football Review. Um, we saw a couple of good games, a couple of one shit game. But um, yeah, let's talk about it. Let's go back to Canberra versus New Zealand. Man, what the fuck was that game? That was one of the worst games of football I've watched this year. Um, man, what a shit game. Watch kick, you know, it was it was really shit to watch because the Raiders and Warriors just played so bad. I sat down sat down on my lounge this afternoon in the lounge room, had a can of coke, and just relaxed and watched the footy. And I know it was I know it was thirty three degrees up at the Gold Coast, but what the heck was that? Seriously, Canberra, I know they won twenty points to six, but they were terrible. The most unconvincing 13-plus win that I've seen in a while. I know the Warriors don't have much. They've got Adam Kieran at playing in the centres. They've got plays out of position, the Warriors. I know it's tough for them. They've had a tough week. It's understandable. But, oh, my God. They were just absolutely terrible, the Warriors. Again, they need a reality check. They need to make some changes if they can. I know it's tough because no one... They haven't got many players in their roster at the moment because of the coronavirus. But oh my god. Are you freaking serious? What was that? Shit. Blake Green. He's, he's overweight. He looks unfit. He looks old. Looks very similar to Gavin Cooper but a halfback. Like seriously. Blake Green needs to be dropped for the Warriors to be any chance. Cody Nicarima looked pretty good when he came on. He had a bit of... Um, a bit of he, he, he was a bit of a threat. A little bit, not too much. Uh, two of us at Sheck needs some help. He's got no support. Get David Fusatua on the fucking wing. What's he doing in the centres? I understand they brought Gerard Bill over from New Zealand. Why the fuck didn't he play tonight, Gerard Bill? Jesus Christ. Warriors. Disappointing. Absolutely hopeless tonight. They need to make some changes if they can. Um, as for the Raiders... They were flat. They were unimpressive. Um, they didn't really have many standouts. I thought Josh Hodgson played all right. Uh, Nick Kotrick was probably their best player. He was dangerous. He was a bit, a bit of a handful. Uh, Simonson was all right as well. I don't know. Cameron weren't that good. Soliola was good off the bench. Elliot White has scored the first try. It was just a really, really boring game. Probably the most boring game of 2020 so far. I don't even want to talk about it now. Raiders won 20 points to 6. That's enough for that game. Next game. game of the Best game of the night. Best game of the day. Maybe the best game of the year so far. Manly beat the Roosters 9 points to 8. What a fantastic game of rugby league. Defense was outstanding. Attack was a bit off on both sides. But the defense was absolutely brilliant. Um, and in the end, Daily Cherry Evans got the got the chocolates, got the money, and he kicked the field goal with about four minutes to go, and they won the game, nine eight. I was this friggin' tempted to tip Manly the other day, but I thought there's no way the Roosters will go zero and two, and it's happened. They've gone zero and two. Will I go? Will I go zero and three against South Sydney? That's the question mark that I need that we all need to f figure out. Will the Roosters really go 0-3? Will they beat South Sydney next week? Let me know in the comment section below. That'll be an interesting game next Friday night. You know, Luke Keery is he's really struggling on his own. Um, I'm not I'm not putting it, I'm not putting it all on Luke Keery. I'm not saying it's his fault. He is struggling a little bit. There's no doubt about it. I'm not I'm not concerned for the Roosters. They'll still finish on the top four, I believe. But they need to figure out how to close out games. They had Cooper Cronk to do it. They had Latrell Mitchell. They've lost them both. They, I think James Tedesco needs to do a bit more. He's not. Tommy Turbo outplayed him today. Turbo absolutely outplayed Tedesco today. And people might disagree with that. But Tommy Turbo was easily the best player on the ground. And he was absolutely outstanding. Jake Shaboyevich was great. Daly Cherry Evans was great. Manly's forwards were good. You know what? Dylan Walker even looked dangerous when he had the football. And dare I say it, people are going to laugh at this. Brad friggin' Parker. 
even played well. And I don't even rate Brad Parker at all. I do not rate him. But he played really well. Couldn't believe it. You know, the Roosters bombed two tries in the first half. One, oh, the, the, the no try to Joseph Manu was absolutely bullshit in my opinion. How was that a strip? A clear loose carry. But, um, yeah, that was a ridiculous decision, I thought. Manu had, that was a try to Manu. But, you know, the Roosters did not get robbed. They did not play bad. Just Manly, Manly wanted it more. Well done to Manly. Um, also, shout out to the Bundy Chick 82. I know she went on YouTube earlier when the Roosters were beaten. She went on a bit of a rant. I understand your frustration. I remember a couple of years ago when the Cowboys went 0-3. I was so mad. But we ended up winning the comp that year. So, you know, Roosters 0-2. I, I don't believe it's panic mode. But I, I think it's getting there. They, they, they get Josh Morris next week, so they might be able to be fixed up a little bit there. They, they, they need Boyd Cordner back for the leadership. But if I was a Rooster supporter, I wouldn't be too concerned. I don't think they'll be in trouble much longer. But, you know, um, they're still going to be a top four side, in my opinion. It's only the early days yet. On to the, on the game that we just witnessed. Melbourne beating Cronulla. 12 points to 10. Well, this game did not have much. Only one try each. A lot of penalty goals. A lot of errors. Both teams played shit. Melbourne played absolutely terrible. But when it comes down to it, when you have a really shit performance, the good teams win ugly games. Melbourne did it a lot last year. There was about eight games last year where Melbourne played really, really shit, but they ended up winning the game. The same thing happened tonight. They played really bad, Melbourne, but they got the win. They defended well enough to win the game. As for Cronulla, I think they're in a bit of trouble. You know, they're losing Sean Johnson now. They really are missing Bronson Sherry. I hope he plays next week. I think he will. They need him ASAP. Um, Sean Johnson is a fucking passenger. I am really getting sick and tired of Sean Johnson not doing his job. He's just... Oh, it's, it's like he's playing in a dinner suit at the moment. Sean Johnson, you need to unleash yourself, mate. You need to run the ball, be more dangerous, and let Chad Townsend control the side. You know, I hate to say it, but if I was Cronulla, if I was the Cronulla halves, Johnson and Townsend, I'd take a book out of the Broncos halves at the moment. You know, if you look at Brisbane, Milford's running the ball, and Croft's doing all the controlling and all of that. The Sharks need to be... Sean Johnson needs to be running the ball, and Townsend needs to be the controlling. Um, I know that's... A bit of a stupid comparison. People will say that's bravo, well done. But Sean Johnson is playing in a dinner suit lately. Jesse Ramian isn't getting enough ball. Why will Sione Katoa on the left side of the field? Where last week on the right side of the field, he scored two tries and he played well. Poor coaching decision there from John Morris. Um, what's his name? This guy from the Sharks on the bench, his, name was, his last name's Rudolph. He was outstanding. But he made a couple of bad errors at the end of the game. But it wasn't his fault. Aaron Woods played alright. Even though I still can't stand Aaron Woods. Um, Andrew Fafita didn't do a lot. I think Andrew Fafita needs to be looked at. Jaden Bradley played well for Cronulla. But look, for Melbourne, you know, Munster didn't, did not do much at all. Uh, Munster played pretty flat. Jerome Hughes at halfback. He played really well against Manly last week. But Jerome Hughes tonight against Cronulla was absolutely shithouse. He nearly cost him the game a few times. He did a, he did a stupid kick there with about eight minutes to go. It was a grubber kick. I'm like, what are you doing? It was so dumb. Um, Justin Olam, he is, he is so improved, Justin Olam. He was arguably one of the best players on the field tonight. I'm tempted to give him man of the match. He, he defended well. He looked dangerous with the football. Uh, Ryan Pappenhausen was great. You know, Pappenhausen and Olam were probably their two best players tonight. Dale Fanuka, a bit of a warrior as well. Uh, didn't see much of Kafusi. He was quiet. I wonder why he got Jerome Hughes playing halfback. I think it's time they pull the trigger and maybe maybe consider putting um, Riley Jacks or Cooper Johns in the side or maybe that Nick, Nick, Nico Hines. I don't. I just don't think Melbourne can win the comp with Jerome Hughes at halfback. I just don't really believe. That Jerome Hughes is a controlling number seven. I know Cameron Smith always plays first receiver and Brendan Smith comes on 
as well. But I just feel like if Melbourne are going to win the comp this year, you need a recognised halfback to win the comp. You need that game manager. You know, Melbourne aren't going to win the comp with Cameron Smith at first receiver. Munster doing his stuff on the left. Munster never plays on the right side of the field. He never, ever. I've never seen Cameron Munster start on the right side of the field and roam over to the left. I just, why can't he do it, Munster? He needs to do it. He, you know, he plays on the left side of the field. It becomes so predictable. Also, I thought Ado Carr played well. But look, you know, Melbourne for mine, they were really average tonight. They got the job done. You win ugly games when you're a top side. And they were able to get the job done. So, well done to Melbourne on a 12-10 win. So, the scores for today, if you, if, you didn't, if you didn't hear already, Canberra beat the Warriors 20 points to 6. Manly beat the Roosters 9 points to 8. And Melbourne beat Cronulla 12 points to 10. Pretty good Super Saturday. Manly Roosters was clearly game of the day. Um, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Go and subscribe to the Bundy Chick 82. I'm getting out of here, guys. I will see you guys in the Sunday afternoon football review to, or Sunday night football review tomorrow. Go subscribe to the Bundy Chick 82 as well. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.